disgusting Hollywood liberal about to flee the country after who she just beheaded for fun, comma. Some 56-year-old ginger creep named Kathy Griffin, who the hell is that, met up with edgy photographer, Tyler Shields, and pulled off the most liberally stupid photo I've seen since those high school kids did a mock assassination of Trump. Kathy stands there with a blue shirt and old pale skin with her hair all scraggly like just had sex in a confessional and she's holding a replica of Donald Trump's head covered in fake blood. She's imitating ISIS, except ISIS probably wouldn't allow her the rights to do something like that. If you're in ISIS, then that's a man's job. The woman is for beating, stoning, carrying things, and making sandwiches. This is the most liberal yet anti-liberal stunt a stupid hack comedian has pulled in quite some time. Sure, she had a show on Bravo and sometimes gets nominated for awards, but I couldn't tell you who she was until I looked her up on Wikipedia. That's when I realized she hasn't been in anything worth watching. I listen to comedy radio all the time and haven't once heard this name. In fact, I thought this was going to be Kathy Lee Gifford. But it's Kathy Griffin. My first three questions were one where people buy replica heads and 2, who the f asterisk ck is Kathy Griffin. 3, what are the stats for ginger on ginger crime? Is this what it takes to be popular now? Throw that head over here, let me wear a weird blue shirt and do my face up like a haggard character from an American Horror Story episode. Okay, call Tyler Shields, I'm all ready to do my photo shoot and send it directly to TMZ. OMG, I'm so viral. This woman is tank. Kathy Griffin wants Donald Trump's head, but she wants it bloody and detached from his body. The comedian posed for the gory shot during a photo session with famed thought of Tyler Shields, who's known for edgy, shocking pics. We got the pic before the release. During the photo shoot, Kathy joked that she and Tyler would need to move to Mexico once the pics got released, for fear they'd be thrown in prison. Trump's critics have skewered him for inciting violence with his speech. Did Kathy do the same? Hats off to Tyler Shields for going majorly viral with the beheaded Donald Trump picture, but Kathy Griffin, who is an LGBTQTBQWTF activist, is a major hack. She is just another libturd who proves that liberals are not accepting of others. Liberals are not tolerant of others. Liberals are violent. Liberals are everything that they tell us not to be. Liberals deflect their own flaws upon others. Liberals are horrible people in general. They violently and intolerantly fight you until you are forced to accept their fake and flawed realities. If that's what it means to be a liberal, then no thanks. Sounds horrible. Plus I've seen the people who are liberals and I'm always wondering why they usually look alike. They all look like they're people who haven't been outside in a while, people who don't fit in because they have mental flaws, and people who are just not right in the head who fight logic and facts with feelings. Sounds like a liberal, right? The only humor the left appreciates is violent, vulgar threats against conservatives. That isn't humor. That's fascism. That's what a lot of people call liberals. They refer to them as the fascists. The liberals created their little club for boys and girls who live at home until they're 38 and called it Antifa and they're peacefully fighting everyone by rioting and attacking people with physical violence. But they're doing it peacefully that's all that matters. And they're mostly just blocking the path to free speech, which is totally okay as long as they can talk, but no one else can. Sounds so liberating. Where do I sign up? Am I allowed to be an Antifa if I have a job and own my basement? Can Kathy Griffin be an Antifa? She's fairly well off in the money banks, so perhaps she's too rich to be an Antifa. She can't try to stop people from enjoying their freedom of speech. Sure, there's consequences to some things that people say, but if they can't say it, then that's the problem. If some washed-up ginger comedian held Obama's head like this, they would be called racist and liberals would be knocking at their door to have a gay dance party in protest. Either that or Black Lives Matter would rob a store and beat up a Canadian. The point is this, liberals are idiots. They are everything they tell you to not be. They are illogical, don't comprehend the concept of facts and they do everything they tell everyone else not to do. Two-faced and one-way street kind of people, that's what they are.
Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.